in honor of my Chicken Palm Elsie Eats collection being launched on Wednesday, I figured I would show you how to make a Chicken Palm. And it's so easy, so fun to make, and so delicious. We have our ingredients in front of us, and we're gonna show you how to do it. And I have my sous chef, and he's also modeling my setup. Before anything else, you wash your hands before you cook or eat. So I'm actually just gonna do that. Okay, hands are clean. Chicken palm, for those of you who don't know, is pounded, breaded, and fried chicken, which you then broil with tomato sauce, or there are other types of sauces that we like to dabble in, and melted cheese on top, usually mozzarella and parmesan, hence the name. First things first, we have our chicken breast that we butterflied. The step is to then pound it. You want a roller or a meat thing, empty bottle of Casamigos. Sports. Empty bottle of tequila. And you're supposed to lay down like a piece of plastic, but we've been through this rodeo before, so you want to get it pretty thin because you want this thing to fry really quickly. Really, really there's no such thing as an ugly palm. Right, because all the stuff that you put over it is so unhealthy anyway that it's always gonna be delicious. The next step of our chicken palm recipe is we take the butterfly pounded chicken breast and we first dip it in flour. seasoned flour. So what is in this flour? There's some pepper, there's some salt, there's some onion powder, there's a little cayenne, something like that. Okay, so seasoned flour. Then we have beaten eggs. <laughs> And then we just have some breadcrumbs. Very important. So, all the best chicken palms that I've ever eaten always have these. And you get them at like Smart and Final. So this is what we like to use. And I suggest you use it too. I'm going to pick up gently with a lot of love and care my chicken breast. And I put it in the flour. Got a good coating of the flour in the bowl. Awesome. Here is our floured pounded chicken breast. Oh my. Oh. And now we're gonna put it in the egg. Beautiful. This part used to really gross me out, but I enjoy it now. You just get a nice coating of the egg. Mm. Now we're gonna put it in the breadcrumbs. Yeah, toss it in. And kind of just throw it around the same way that you did with the flour and just yeah. get a really nice layer of breadcrumbs. Yeah. That. Make sure every part of the chicken is covered. And that's the stove. Here is our breaded chicken breast. Ooh, but here we have our breaded chicken. And we're about to put it in this pan to fully cook with olive oil and butter to make it crispy. What is the best temperature to begin cooking it in? Like 350, 375. It is. All right. Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really have to be careful because it gets hot. Sometimes it snaps and crackles in your face and you get burned and it happened to Benny the other day and he burned his eye. That is true. So that looks beautiful. And it barely takes any time at all. Oh, and while we do this, we have our oven ready to broil on high, and we're heating up our tomato sauce, and then the cheese, and then you boil it, and then you eat it. While you're cooking it, you only really need to flip it once or twice, and it's really that easy. Oh, it smells so good. And we have our heated sauce here. Now we take our chicken out and we put it on a little rack with a paper towel underneath. Because if you don't do this, you're not going to get that crispy chicken that you want because it's going to get soggy. So the most important part of a chicken palm and getting it right is that you don't let it get soggy. So you want it crispy on the top and the bottom. And sometimes that can be hard to do because you're cooking with things that make for mushiness. So this is a little trick to make it crispy. Now... <laughs> that we have our fried chicken sauce. And another great thing about these sweaters is that they protect you from the heat because this is a hot pan. We cover the chicken, but not too much. 
Just spread it out enough to where you have like an even layer, not drenching it. We're gonna save the rest of this sauce for when we plate it because you don't wanna cook your chicken with the sauce underneath it. You only wanna broil it while the sauce is on top. And then once we plate it, we're gonna put this around so that you can have extra sauce. Here we have our sourced chicken, ready to have the cheese put on and be put in the broiler. Before we put our tomato sauce covered chicken. Also known as chicken parmesan. Well, it doesn't have the parmesan on it yet. Obviously we have to add the cheese. Mozzarella on my Michi board. That's me. We have our beautiful low moisture mozzarella. You don't want to buy mozzarella that comes in water because it's going to be too soggy. This stuff melts better. It's just the way it is. You're going to place it on the chicken. You're just going to do it pretty evenly. We have the thickness, about that thick. We have our very last step, which is grating the Parmesan onto the top. And we're gonna grate again after. So we're just doing a little grate now. Do you guys see how easy this is to make? And how much more special it is when you have fun doing it and making it with love instead of, I mean, obviously you can get a great chicken palm at a restaurant, right? Okay, so it's ready to be put in the broiler. We're gonna broil it on high and it usually takes about five minutes, but we like to check on it periodically. You can pretty much tell when it's ready because it'll be golden brown on top and that's really what you want like our mac and cheese video. Okay, so we're putting it in. We'll be checking in on it in a few minutes. Bye, Parm. Bye, have a good time, love you. She's in there. Oh, she's already melted. <laughs> I'm so proud of her. Five minutes later. Wow. Wow. She's <gasps> golden. So we take her out. Oh my god, she looks so good. We're going to put some of the sauce around in a little circle, and the chicken parm will just live in the middle of it. That's how we make it not get soggy on the bottom. We forgot one step. We have to go get some basil and we're gonna go get it from the garden. One more thing to note, something that we really like to do is add these before we broil it. So that's optional. We just wanted to show you the classic chicken palm, but this is really a pro tip. And if you like spicy, it's like the best thing ever. Just add a few of these on and it makes it really good. We're gonna pick up a basil from the garden. Yeah, perfect. Oh, smells so good. We have our fresh basil that we picked from the garden that we're just gonna gently place on top of the chicken palm. Perfection. And then we're gonna grate a little bit of Parmesan on top. Mamma mia. We're gonna top it off with some olive oil. Oh my God. Mm. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you make this because it's fucking delicious. These will be available on Wednesday, September 16th on lseats.com. We ship free domestically. We ship internationally and each item purchased equals one meal donation to somebody in need. It's the most amazing thing I get to do and I'm so grateful and I hope that you guys make this and that you get this. Cook in it and eat it in it and it's okay if you get it dirty because that's what it's for. Can I have another bite? <laughs>